Welcome back to another video right here on Free Will Photos. Today, we're going to take a look at using On One Photo Raw Max as a plugin. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating inside of Affinity Photo, but a very similar process will work inside of Photoshop as well as Lightroom, Capture One, Apple Photos, and other software like that. But I will make a dedicated video specifically for those. What I really want to do is help illustrate why someone may want to get the max version of On One Photo Raw over the base version. Now, let's jump into the computer and take a look. All right, so here we are inside of the computer. And as mentioned, I'm using Affinity Photo for this example. You can see all I have is an image with a background layer. So let's just go ahead and add in a few items here. So maybe I want to turn this black and white for some reason. So I'll add a black and white filter. And then on top of that, maybe we'll throw in some brightness and contrast and we will contrast the crap out of this photo. And that doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm just making this up on the fly, by the way. So those are the edits. What you do inside of your program of choice that you're going to then send this to on one from is really based off of your workflow. Don't worry so much about what I just did over here, because that's going to be uh, very specific to your needs. However, inside of affinity photo, if I want to send this image over to on one, what I need to do is create a stamped layer. So I'm just going to right click here and we are going to or actually, we'll just go Command Shift and E, Command Shift Option E. I know my keyboard shortcuts. I thought I had it set to the right click there. It probably was, but I digress. So now, if you're not familiar, all that does is it takes all of the edits and it pushes them into a single layer. And I'm just going to relabel this on one. You don't have to do this in every program, but if you're working in a layer based editor, like Affinity Photo or Photoshop, then it's always a good idea to rename your layer. So that way you know which image you sent into or which layer you sent into on one. So now that my layer is ready to go into on one photo raw, what I'm going to do is come up to filters, hover over plugins, hover over on one, and then come down here and send this to on one effects. When I click that, it's going to go and essentially create this image into an export, put it into on one photo raw as a plugin. And it's not creating a new image. It's just taking the information I was in affinity photo and putting it into on one, as you can see that it did here on the screen. Now, if I want to edit this further, I have access to pretty much everything inside of on one. Uh, with the exception of resize AI right here, you can see that that's grayed out, but everything else that I would need inside of the edit workspace and on one, I now have available to me right here, ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a preset on here just to show you how things kind of work out. So maybe I want to use black and white films and I'm just going to select one at random. I didn't rehearse this or anything. And maybe that's not going to do us any good since the um, the photo was already black and white. So let's make it very obvious what we did. So instead of a preset, I'll just come to add filter. We'll throw on a LUT and that looks pretty good. But, you know, we'll go with something like this. So now we know that whatever I'm sending back into Affinity Photo, it's going to have this effect applied to it. So now that that's done. You just hit the blue check mark. Now you could come over to develop local. And if you're working on a portrait, you can work on portraits. And if you want to replace the sky, you can do that as well. I don't know if I would recommend doing that in a layer like this, but you could do it if that's what you wanted to do. Nonetheless, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the check mark. It's going to take everything that I did inside of on one and send it right back into affinity photo as you can see here. So now I have this added. Now, one of the notes that I will make is when you work in this style, this is a destructive edit. The layer that you send into on one 
is going to come back with all of the edits baked in. I don't have the ability to go back into on one and pick up where I left off with this image, because if I do this again, so I come to filters, I go to plugins, I hover over on one and I click on effects again, it's going to reopen this image in on one, but notice I no longer have that LUT filter added into the effects section where I could change this. So when you work like this, you definitely want to protect your work by creating duplicates of layers. So if I were to be doing this, um, you know, outside of this tutorial, what I would do, we'll just turn this layer off. I'll come back here and turn on the uh, black and white, do all of that. And then I'll hit command option E to create my black and white stamp layer. Let's pretend that this layer does not exist. I would then duplicate this layer. So this would be combine. And then I would go command J to duplicate my layer. And then I would label this send to on one. What that allows is when the layer comes back from on one, if I'm like, you know what? I don't really like where this was going. I could just delete that and start over, or I can go in a different direction. Or what I typically end up doing is I can now blend this layer. So let's say I enjoy the combined look. We'll just move this down to the bottom so it's out of the way. I enjoy the combined look. I can take this opacity of the on one layer and just start to blend that very easily with my combined look. Those are some of the nuances of working with on one for raw as a plugin to software. And if you aren't using on one photo raw in the capability that I just showed, then the base version, the non max version of on one photo raw is going to be plenty for you. Now, if you want to use on one as a plugin, then the max version is the version that you would like to get because that's the only one that allows you to work like I did. Now, there is a workaround to using the base version with Affinity Photo, but I'm not showcasing that in this particular video. Maybe I'll make a separate video if that's something you are interested in. The good news is both versions of On1 work as a standalone. So that means if you purchase the Max version, you're gonna be able to work with that independently from any other software and that's good to go. But if you purchase the max version, it just gives you one extra capability of opening on one as a plugin inside of the software. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, then go ahead and smash the like button. If you need more assistance than what this video was able to provide, then consider signing up for a training call with me. A link for that is in the description box below. If you want to pick up All One Photo Raw, consider using my affiliate link down in the description box. I do make a commission from everyone who uses it, but I greatly appreciate it. And it's at no extra cost to you. So it's a win-win for everyone involved. And until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.